So Patty, the next video I want to show you is the machine handling envelopes. Um, traditionally, on a normal laser-based system, you have to put complicated stock like envelopes, cover stock, coated stock, label stock through the bypass. And that's specifically because the fuser's housed here. The paper actually has to travel, get imaged here, and if it's double-sided, do the figure eight and come back through. Challenge with the bypass tray is you're extremely limited to the capacity. So on this system, uh, the LED not only allows us to print with 80, 90% less heat, but it allows us where the imaging is done in line with the paper path. So on this machine, you don't have to use the bypass tray for stocks up to 110 pound cover, coated and uncoated label stocks. And in this case, in the machine you're getting, envelopes. So this tray will hold uh, anywhere from 200 to 250 envelopes. But notice that the actual tray is feeding the system long edge feed. The challenge when you feed the system short edge is the paper can skew because it's less of a grip path. Uh, and also, depending on how you feed them, some machines want the flap open, some machines want it upside down, but the problem is when you're going through all those ro rollers and heat and pressure, this could crinkle. But then, you know, with your bypass tray, you can only put 20 or 30 envelopes in at one run. On this machine, you can put much, much more. So I'm gonna go ahead and it just automatically knows and detects that it's an envelope, number 10, so it's very easy. And I'm gonna go print 10 envelopes to the machine. And after this job, I'll, I'll run some other type of media. Mark, just point the camera up here. Um, I got a bunch of different coated and uncoated and heavy, heavy, super weight stocks that I'll run uh, and send it out to you. But just take a look at the speed in which it prints the envelopes. No issues with the flap. It's a very quiet machine. Its reliability and handling is pound for pound. It's, it's really a production level machine squeezed into a small marketing level uh, office product with the new LED engine. So let me show you the output. This is what I'll be mailing to you. So it shows you this, the high quality resolution. And the last thing I wanted to show you is you asked what the difference was between this series engine and possibly the bigger one. Well, take a look at the internals. Right, we already showed you the internals on this video in the first one. Mark, take a walk with me. This is the other device, very similar. Look at the internals. And the fuser. Same exact engine. Thank you.